as a uh, introduction to what's going to happen this summer, starting August 26th, I'm going to do a seminar series similar to what I did last year, but in much more detail about how to drill without using a balance hole, because as of August 1st of 2020, we can't use balance holes. So to give you a little lead in into that, we're going to talk about the process of putting the right ball in a bowler's hand. Okay? The first tool you have in putting the right ball in a bowler's hand is ball selection. Whether you know it or not, certain balls are designed to do certain things and not do others. So if you're interviewing one of your customers and you want to talk about ball selection, you have to make sure you find out from that customer exactly what they need and then use your expertise to guide them to the ball that's going to give them the best chance of success. A lot of times I hear about balls that don't roll good and a lot of times it's caused by somebody trying to make a ball that's designed to do one thing, do another. So understand choosing the ball with the motion potential you're looking for. Biggest difference there is symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical balls tend to have longer transitions. Asymmetrical balls tend to read the pattern harder. But the first thing you do is ball selection. Might as well learn the process. The next thing, once you know what ball you're going to use, you choose the layout that fine tunes that ball to get the exact shape that you're looking for. Okay? Ball selection first, layout second. When we do our seminar series, we're going to have five basic layouts for asymmetrical balls and four basic layouts for symmetrical balls. Okay. So you get the ball selection, you get the layout. You haven't done all of everything yet. You got some more to do. Okay? The next thing we have to do is try to get the ball so that the break point is the right distance down the lane. And you do that by your surface adjustments. The most important factor in ball motion is when the ball slows down in its path down the lane. If the ball slows down too soon, it hits flat and it's hard to get it to the pocket, you got to reduce the surface. But a lot of times I see the problem is ball goes down and rings the 10 pin or leaves the flat 10. And there are still people who think that 10 pins are bad breaks. They're not throwing the right ball on the right condition that leads to most 10 pins for right handers, 7 pins for left handers. So we use our surface adjustments to get the break point the right distance down the lane so the ball gives you the shape, correct shape on the back end and goes through the pins the right way. So what we're learning is one, ball selection, two, layout choice, three, surface adjustment in order to get a successful ball in a customer's hand. You stick with that system and you'll be right so much, make you feel real good about yourself. One, two, three, ball selection, layout, surface adjustments. Our seminar series starting August 26th will go into that in great detail. And I appreciate your attention. Thank you.